Hi guys, welcome to my world. What's up? Anyway, I'd like to talk about my background with Digimon a little bit, given the recent announcements of the return of a TV series and a video game. I will be getting Digimon All-Stars Rumble, and I have invested a lot of time in re-watching some of the older seasons of Digimon Adventure and Adventure 02. I'm a big fan. There were a lot of storylines for O2, which were undeveloped, underdeveloped, which could have had more time. The first series, it will always be the best. And all of this is being brought to you live and unscripted. Well, okay, it's not really going to be live. It's going to be uploaded to the channel any minute now. I've played a lot of the games. I'm playing Digimon World Data Squad right now. I don't know if I want to make a playthrough of that. I've just decided that I want to get the internet up to speed, up to speed with my Digimon background and history a little bit. Uh, Adventure is my favorite season. I'm glad that Digimon Adventure 03 has just been announced. That's pretty much what this is. It's a high school sequel that's going to take place at next year, or or a little bit before. But you know what I've thought about doing? I've thought about uh, making playthroughs of the other games and uploading them. I uh, sort of creating a road, the road to Digimon World Redigitize. I think that's what I'll call it. Redigitize is that Digimon World game that is currently uh, being proposed by Operation Decode to localize the game, to bring it over to the States instead of just leaving it as a Japanese exclusive on the PSP. There's a whole million things I could talk about. And this game just happens to be one of them. In fact, many games happen to be a part of this subject. I've watched all the animes. I know pretty much every Digimon, except for those that are found on the Wikimon or DigimonWikia.net. There are some that I've never even heard of. I just know all the ones that have been featured in all of the animes. Uh, almost makes me wish I had Pokemon knowledge, but I guess I know what it feels like to have Digimon knowledge to know all these creatures by heart. Well... What I really want to say is that after watching the trailer for this new series, um, I have to say I find it a bit unusual that they're going to re like they're going to reprise what they're doing with the original cast, the original everything. We're going back to G1. It's pretty much what Transformers War for Cybertron was. It was G1. Uh, it was you know a revisit to the G1 world. And based off another series, etc. We're getting the original storyline, the original continuity again. Something I thought would be impossible because Digimon is largely known for switching characters and status quos. And I'm glad to see that this news is making its way across the internet. Foxy Gamer has been chatting up about it. Movie Bob from The Escapist talked about it. Operation Decode mentioned it. In fact, their link is where I got to see the original trailer from the channel, from the Bandai Namco channel of YouTube. Anyways, summer 2015, or actually it's spring 2015. I look forward to this. I'll be, well, I'll be on it every minute that I can. And now, now I just gotta do something about the older Digimon stuff. What am I going to do next? I have no idea. But until then, until I make my decision, I'll just be uploading some old DMC videos and any other series that I in invested my time in. Okay, so that's all. That's it. That's all for my announcements. So, see you soon.